You know, whenever I include this chapter in my ethics course, I always kind of hate it because it always makes me wonder, wait, do I really need that? When I'm really chasing after, do I need that? I mean, look at what I got on me right now. I mean, some things sure seem pretty necessary. The hat, the shirt. These boots are really great for my feet, my especially my ankle. But yeah, I got this iPhone, this microphone, using this camera. Do I need this for the course? <laughs> And you know, I teach a lot. I take on extra courses. I do. I take on extra work. Do I really need to do that? <laughs> uh, yeah, think about. When I mean, you think about what you really need, it sure is a lot more than what Epicurus thinks. So this question, you know, does Epicurus think you're living a, a happy life? Probably not. <laughs> Epicurus probably thinks you're taking on way, way too much, right? Let's start going down the list, right? Family, yeah. He thinks it's probably too much. You need friends to talk about the nature of reality, to have that sort of emotional and intellectual vulnerability and discussion. Yes, sure, you need friends. But family, boy, that's a lot. <laughs> so if you got family, probably already for Epicurus, that's too much. Uh, Y'all are going to school. You're paying, or at least my students are, right? <laughs> Not everybody's watching these videos is, is a student of mine. But you're paying money for what you had to work for, or you're incurring a debt for what you got to pay interest on. Or you know, if you're lucky enough, you got scholarships. Okay, that's great. But you're paying money to go to this class. Well, what are you doing that for? For, for this job? You're trying to maximize a salary? You don't really need that, right? There are lots of jobs out there for which you can make a minimal amount of money. You and three of your friends go get a two-bedroom apartment, right? You each double bunk in a bedroom. You share the kitchen duties. You share the you know cleaning duties. You uh, share you know the time together. Forget about the TV, the PS4. Forget about cable and internet. You don't need it. Lay some blankets and pillows out on the ground, I guess, right? <laughs> this sort of thing, right? And the three of y'all each work in a part-time job, which is not that hard to get. Well, I'm sorry, it can be hard to get. Don't don't let me don't let me uh, uh, devalue the effort and energy it takes to get a part-time job. But compared to you know needing a degree to get a part-time, you know you don't need a degree to get a part-time job, right? You need a degree to have these careers. Compared to that, it's relatively easy to get the part-time job. You don't need to go to school for it. Uh, with that minimal income, if each of you are managed to get a job someplace near the apartment, you won't need to get a car or maybe just take public transportation. Uh, hopefully, maybe somewhere near the, like the library. That'd be kind of cool. You can have some of the materials for which you will fuel your, your discussions about the nature of the world and nature of reality. Uh, you can you know, abandon a lot of these pursuits for what you don't need. You don't need fashion. You don't need the video games. You don't need the movies. You don't need, you don't need alcohol. You don't need beer. You don't need wine. You're actually healthier without it. Having one or two isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's not like you need alcohol. You don't need coffee. You don't need sodas. You don't need tea. You need water. That's it. Now, if you're forgetting, you know, like even one fast food meal a week, you're already doing more than you need. Beans, rice, vegetables, fruits. You know, if you want to add a little animal meat in there, I guess you can. Go for it. But you don't really need it. Quinoa takes care of most of that. Under the direction of your nutritionist and or physician. <laughs> um, I mean, that's what you need. You don't need a smartphone. You don't need the internet. You know? If you're really clever, you can get away without even having the apartment. I knew a guy back in grad school, and I don't know how he actually did this. He never really elaborated on it, but he had a yurt. And if you don't know what a yurt is, think of a, look it up, Y-U-R-T. It's kind of a, it's a really good sized and, and a hardy tent. And I think he lived on federal land or something like this. He managed to, he didn't have an apartment. He lived in the yurt. And you know, he, he worked out and showered in the student rec center. 
and he went to school. He used the computers provided to him by the department. We had computers set up there. He used the resources in the library. And I think he, I don't know, maybe he didn't live rent free, but man, he lived really simple and he did well. He was smart. He knew his stuff and he was good at philosophy. I wonder if he studied Epicurus. Yeah. And he really, he really had that part figured out. You talk about a simple life, he got it. And he seemed really happy. I mean, the most relaxed person in the, in the, amongst all the graduate students. Without exaggeration, the most relaxed person. The rest of us were stressed out. Probably because we we're trying to figure out how to make a living. Some of the grad students have families, but you know, make a living on a graduate student stipend. So yeah, you know, Epicurus in all likelihood, Epicurus thinks you are not living a happy life. He thinks you're overdoing it. You're trying to chase after way too much. Okay. And then, you know, what it, what it would need is, like I said, you know, something like a part-time job, three friends, two-bedroom apartment, double bunk. Forget about the TV, the stereo equipment, all that, blankets, cushions, right? Sit on the, you know, sit on the ground, hang out. You don't even, you know, you, you share the kitchen duties. You don't need that much food. You don't need that expensive food. That, that'd probably be it, right? Simple life. Okay. So, do you agree with Epicurus? Hmm. I mean, if you agree with him, then yeah, you're probably just like, well, forget all this and, you know, <laughs> you know walk out of class, right? <laughs> uh, if you agree with him, yeah, you probably, you know, kind of drop all this. If you disagree with them, why? Well, what does that mean?